Hello and welcome back. Um, what we're going to look at now is what happens when we want to create uh, multiple event handlers. So this is an event handler right here. Um, when item camera collides with something, enter something or exit. But what happens if I want to create another one? So for example, I duplicate um, that uh, item right there and I'm just going to rename, I think I called this one trigger zero and I'm going to call this one trigger one. Okay. Um, so trigger zero, trigger one. Now the problem is with event handlers, if I put another event handler down here, uh, for example, when they walk across this, um, it will activate these bats, which I've placed down here. You can see I've placed three bats here um, to fly towards me. It will only activate the latest um, event handler. So that's not going to work. So we're going to have to use a bit of a different technique. So what we're going to have to do um, is let's just pull this out and snap it onto there because we're going to use it later. We're going to pull this right out and we're going to use um, a different type of uh, event handler and it's this one right here when some uh, when item collides with another item and what happens is and it's going to slide that in there and I'm just going to slide my loop back in there um, this creates a variable called another item so for example if I close the events and I go down to data <clears throat> and I go to variables you see suddenly there is a variable called another item and what we want to do is uh, when the camera so the camera is right there uh, when, the when the camera collides with another item um, we are going to now grab an if loop so we're gonna go and just close that up we're gonna go to control we're gonna go to if and I'm gonna drag that if loop out and put it right there if um, and we're just gonna go back down to data and go to variables and so if another item let's see if I can if another item equals um, and if you recall the first item we have is this thing right here so this is a uh, trigger zero so if another item equals um, and we're just gonna go to items on the top click get and trigger zero so if another item equals trigger zero um, it will activate those mice to fly across the screen so you can see how that is a little bit different uh, from our other uh, code that we had placed in before but here's the beauty of this is we can just duplicate this so let's duplicate this whole thing and we have another whole set of code here and we can change this now just to trigger one which I think is there we go trigger ones at the bottom so here's trigger one right here um, for each element in mice so we don't we haven't created our list um, of the bats yet so let's create that list now so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to put it down the bottom here and create empty list and I'm going to call that list bats and I'm just going to add and I'll go actually down to data I'll go to Oh, sorry, go to lists down here. If you remember, we have the add um, the add block there. So we're going to add three bats. So one, two, three. And you can see here's my bats right here, and I've already named them. Uh, that's bat three. So we should have bat one, two, and three. So there's bat one, there's bat two, and there's bat three. Now I'm going to um, put all these bats inside the bats list right here. So bats, bats, and bats. So now I have another whole list with these three bats inside here. And I'm just going to go down to that second uh, block of code I made there. And for each element in bats, um, move uh, the bats forward, I don't know, let's try 10 meters. I don't really know how this is going to look. So let's just, uh, let's just see how this is going to turn out. Um, so let's click play, and it should pop me into my room. Uh, I'm just going to grab that key real quick, close the key, 
open the door, and I'm just going to walk across my first trigger. There goes the mice. You can see the mice, the trigger has activated the mice. And I'm just going to go here, and there goes one bat, there goes another bat, and there goes the third bat. So pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to back up. And uh, yeah, that is how you can have multiple triggers. I mean, you could have as many triggers as you wanted here to make a sound go off or make something appear. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So uh, hopefully this will be a really uh, powerful uh, element you can add to your uh, maze game that you're building.